Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk a little bit about progressive web apps. All right, I'm going to keep this one today very short because it's been like crazy busy around here this week, right? Today I want to talk just a little bit about progressive web apps. Now some of you guys have asked about this in the past. You know, do you think your progressive web apps are going to take over for main apps and all this kind of stuff? And, uh, you know, I just wanted to address that a little bit because it's something that's really been piquing my interest lately, right? Uh, Ionic sent out a, a mass mailer last night about, you know, how you can use Ionic framework for progressive web apps, you know, which makes sense because it's all JavaScript and HTML anyway, right? And there's lots of other, you know, forms out there. And it seems like something that's, it's slowly starting to gain momentum to where it could be uh, like a real contender against the app market and it's always made sense to me so for those of you who don't know a progressive web app is a web application that has a lot of the features that you have from from standard apps like push notifications you know install to desktop and that's not a big deal right or having uh, you know offline storage so it uses web workers so so it can cache the data locally so even if you're you know, if, even if you're offline, everything can still work, all this kind of stuff. The big benefit is it goes around the app store so you don't have to worry about the approval process and everything like that. Uh, one of the big drawbacks is that Safari doesn't support it. Uh, so, and Safari being the main browser on, the, on an iPhone. So if, you, if your clients have iPhones or whatever, it could be a non-starter. Although, uh, you know, the, the big thing is Safari is gonna start introducing web workers soon so you'll have limited functionality there and there's still, if you have like a, a, and there's so many articles out there on how to take, this is what I've been looking over the last few days anyway. So a lot of articles on there, how you can have like loads of functionality on a Chrome based on Android uh, and then limited functionality on iOS. But because it's a website, it's a, it's a lot easier. You go around the app store. Now there's two ways I look at this when I, when I think about it, I think about it from the terms of, you know, passive revenue, so making money. Like, so I don't see this as taking over from the apps. So when we put out an app, we hope to earn some revenue either through ads or in-app purchases, stuff like that, right? That's something I don't consider progressive web apps for, at least not yet, because, because there's no way that that's gonna compete with the easy payment. The, the big thing that attracted me to apps in the beginning was the fact that there's in-app purchases. You know, as soon as you set up an account, you register your credit card, you know, it's just that split second decision to make a purchase, right? It's much easier than, you know, put in your PayPal details, get your wallet out, all that kind of stuff, right? So progressive web apps, I think it's kind of in the background there. But in terms of for client for client work and a lot of this kind of stuff, I think it'd be like a big, huge boon to the industry because, you know, a lot of times when we get clients come to us, they're not really looking for something that should be an app. And sometimes I'll say, you know, this should be a website. You know, you shouldn't have to ask users to go through and install this application in order to use this bit of functionality. But because apps are popular, because apps are hip, because, you know, because apps are magic you know, to a lot of people, right, they, they still want an application. So prog progressive web apps makes it a lot easier to give them a halfway point. So, you know, have the website. When you go to the website, click on the download button, you know, store everything, you know, locally and everything like that. It's, it's really exciting and you know, if Safari starts to adopt it, it's something we're really gonna go for. And it's the kind of thing we're gonna start pushing towards, towards client work, so towards active income instead of the passive income. Anyway, the reason I bring it up is I like to know what you guys think about it. Are any of you guys using progressive web apps yet? And what kind of experience have you had? Are you able to monetize it? You know, what kind of stuff are you able to do with that? I'd be really interested to know. But anyway, that's really quick today. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.